that centers humans like sure we could we could do all that and change the landscape for us but like i'm not interested in in, in saving global warming for ourselves like we're we're fucking ourselves over that's our own problem i'm worried about like the fish that we're going to displace when we build those walls and like and like all the spawning habitats we're going to destroy like well no fish really that. live there and of course they do or even just this is like in general any situ any thing that humans do to alter the environment to prepare for global warming is is saying this is ours now like and and screw everything else that currently lives in that area or that this system will affect and i think that's one of the biggest that's the big that's the issue with with that pro with that proposition but that's all of life it's all anything is but when you go and do things you constantly no matter what it is no matter what you decide your actions have consequences right but we have to share this planet you know like 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 we're not like these bugs in our house like they're not in our house like we're in their environment you know like we shouldn't just kill all, like, and put whatever the word for insecticides or, you know, surround our houses with insecticides, you know, because there are ants in our house. Like, we have to learn to live our life while letting theirs continue as normal. Or at least that should be our goal. Well, sure. But there's also not really... Like, I know what you're saying is we should share it with everything else, but there's no reason just to take it. To not take it, you mean? No, just take it. Like, what do you mean? Why does it, why does it matter? What does sharing and letting them be themselves, what is, what does that do it, in the long term? Because what else, like, what, what else is there to life? Like, it's shit, that's the whole the whole purpose of the beauty of nature and, and, you know, the complex systems that like other life forms have created and, and like evolved over millions of years to like perfect in like insane ways that we can't even understand. Like, like, like fuck humans. We, we gotta, there are enough of us. If we go down that route, we're going to keep going and modifying the environment until there's no more environment left to modify, like until we've modified the entire planet, and then there's nothing left, and then we'll, like, what's the point? You know, like that's not a that's not a sustainable long term goal. It's like a short term patch up that like fucks everything up in the process, but doesn't really save us in the long run. Okay, then go to the complete opposite point, and right. what does that get you? You mean not like like saving everything? Like you basically remove humans from the planet. You don't have to remove humans. You have to or, remove their that's dominant fine. You complex. just have them live exclusively mutually beneficial to the environment. Where they will only help the environment and the environment only helps us. If you follow that, then what's that point? Well that's that's the goal. That's that's everything But that's that's a philosophy and that's a desire rather than a real good thing. I mean, the only the only way we can say good is if we're thinking about ourselves, like, if, if you're thinking that way. And, like, I don't know, like, sure, you could argue that, like, there's no, like, it doesn't leave room for, like, human development and, like, you know, whatever, exploring the capabilities of the universe that we live in, but... Essentially, there seems to just be a difference in priorities from surviving and living. That's what I get the vibe of. Because you're thinking very It's more ways. everything is arbitrary. Like, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't You theoretically matter. can, but no matter what you want to think, there is a feeling that you get that you look up the stars that these lights in your room will not give you. Right? At least for me. me. Yes. There's a feeling when you're, like, out in, like, a field... Like, out in nature or something. Well, we were born in nature. Yeah. You yes. don't burn it all down, put up concrete or whatever well, you, you want to do. Well, you can make a fake version. 
You can make a zoo. You can but make a aquarium, what you can make a nature yeah. reserve. But, but what you're saying true. is still the point of make it so that we feel the best in our environment, which is just another goal. Like we make everything and where we feel the best and enjoy the environment as much as possible. All of these, when you finish it, there is no point, which is what you said before, is there's no point. But no matter where you go, there's no point. Right. And so it's just your decisions. And your decisions have to be made with some type of reference. So there's so there's no point to anything, but that just means that everything... Like, you could say nothing matters, right? No, nothing matters. There's nothing, no, literally nothing matters. But the fact that nothing matters means that, like, everything matters. Like, since it's all fake, we have nothing better to do than, like... We create what matters. Yeah, exactly. Like, yes, and that's where so, I go back to my point. No matter what you want to think, there are certain things that, like, wh- when we say you, I'm not talking about you. We're talking about the whole you. Mm-hmm. Like, we can say, okay, since we can create anything that matters... I decide that I want to, like, you know, I just want to look at my own lights. I want to do whatever. Like, there's something deeper within you that actually determines what matters in life. Yeah. You you don't really have control. And my point is that is very connected with nature. That is very connected with just other connection, whether it be human or animal. Like, those things, because it's just been years and years and years. Like, Mm -hmm. if you lose that connection, like, whether you want to think it or not, I guess I'm saying you're going to lose something. By going yeah. that total survivalist route and like, you know, I don't know, yeah. I'm just talking in circles. But. More what I'm getting at is whoever is passionate about this, it is their philosophy, their idea of how things should be or not be. And when they go and argue with people, it's mm. they're just meeting someone who's different. Yeah. And so then they fight. And then the winner wins because their philosophy becomes true. I think at the base of things, that we're all same. kind of the same in our in our goals and philosophies and, and, and what we think is right. It's just like, like if we're denying it or not.